Hey there! Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Susanna Oscarson. And I'm Katie Chiosh, your two enthusiastic Hampton Roads Realtors. For this episode of our All Around Hampton video series, we're going to be focusing on one of our favorites. The historic and beautiful neighborhood of Little England. Hope you enjoy! In our opinion, the historic Little England neighborhood of Hampton boasts some of the most beautiful homes in the city. Little England is located close to downtown Hampton. It's bounded by Sunset Creek, the Hampton River, and Route 60. The land where the Little England neighborhood currently sits was once an 18th century plantation. In 1886, the land was purchased by James Darling and subdivided and put up for sale in 1888. Around the same time that Darling purchased the land for Little England, he also founded the first electric streetcar railway on the peninsula, connecting Hampton and Newport News. The Little England neighborhood sat at the end of the railway line, making it what's known as a streetcar suburb. Today, it has a few distinct sections. Darling's Little England is in the middle of the neighborhood and is mostly comprised of Victorians, Colonial Revivals, and American Foursquare style homes. Cedar Point is along the waterfront and is comprised of larger, more modern homes. Georgetown condos built in the 1960s are townhome style condos along the waterfront on Bridge Street. And Acorn Point is comprised of homes built mostly in the 1930s, with many of them along the Salters Creek waterfront. A few notable homes and a few of our favorites in Little England are 4403 Victoria Boulevard. This is a beautiful Queen Anne Victorian, which was also the first house built in the neighborhood for James Darling's son, Frank. The Reed House, a grand and gorgeous yellow brick neo-Romanesque revival built in 1902 for Harry Reed, a boat pilot. This one may be Susanna's favorite. The Brittingham House, another incredibly beautiful Victorian home, built in 1899. The Brittinghams owned the first furniture store on Queen Street, which opened in 1886. The Lackey House, built in 1895, is one of our absolute favorites. A stunning example of the beauty of a Victorian home. It has everything that you think of when a Victorian house comes to mind, including a turret. It's also sometimes referred to as the Mermaid House due to the mermaid weather vane atop its turret. The Spratley House, a beautiful example of a colonial revival. It was built in 1914 for Judge C. Vernon Spratley. The house has stayed with the family and is currently occupied by Judge Spratley's granddaughter. The Magnolia House, built in 1899, a Grand Victorian built for William Walker Scott, a Chesapeake Bay boot pilot. It's currently a bed and breakfast, and you can actually get married by the proprietors while you're there. If you're interested in staying at that Magnolia House, even if you don't need to get married, check out their website for more details, www.maghousehampton.com. There are many, many more beautiful and noteworthy properties in the Little England neighborhood, but we're sure you'd also like to hear about the other things. So without further ado, according to one resident of Little England, a few of the great things, aside from the beautiful homes, about living here are the community. The residents of Little England frequently have fun events to celebrate, including an Easter parade, a Christmas cookie exchange, happy hours in the park, and much more. The park, located on Park Place. The Hampton Yacht Club. Located at the end of Victoria Boulevard, it brings many of the residents together and was apparently birthed many years ago in the Lackey House. The proximity of downtown Hampton allows the residents of Little England many dining, entertainment, and shopping options not far from home. The proximity of the library. All in all, the Little England neighborhood sounds like a fantastic place to live. For more information, visit the Historic Little England Facebook page. And for further information on current housing market stats, please reach out to Susanna or myself. We'd love to help. We hope you enjoy this episode of our All Around Hampton series. If you have any questions or have a particular neighborhood that you would like us to cover, please let us know in the comments below. Stay tuned for our next installment, Buck Row Beach. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs> you can't get anything done. <laughs> Any questions or 
have a particular neighborhood that you would like. <laughs> oh, she's like. <clears throat>